Chapter 16th The Continent of Australia Australia is known as the continent of kangaroos. It is the largest island in the world. Location, extent and boundaries The latitudinal extent of this continent is from 10 degrees 20 seconds south to 43 degrees 39 seconds south. Its longitudinal extent is from 113 degrees east to 153 degrees 30 seconds east. This continent is totally in the southern hemisphere. The Tropic of Capricorn passes roughly through the center of the continent. The island of Tasmania located to the southeast of this continent is a part of this continent. See figure 1 and list the oceans, seas, bays and gulfs that surround the continent. Physiography See color figure 1 to understand the physiography of Australia. It shows the major physical divisions of Australia. The western part of the continent is a plateau region. It is an extensive area and it includes different plateaus, deserts and mountain ranges. The Great Sandy, Gibson and Great Victoria deserts occupy a large part of this region. It also includes many dry lakes. Find the name of these lakes from color figure 1. To the east of the desert region lie the low-lying plains formed by the deposition of many rivers. There are many lakes in the southern part of this central plain region. Of these, Lake Eyrie has a depth of minus 20 meters below the sea level. To the east of the plains is the Great Dividing Range. It runs in the north-south direction. The rain falling to the ground in this area gets divided to the east and the west due to the mountain range which is therefore called the Great Dividing Range. This range includes Australian Alps and New England Hills. Mount Kosciuszko, 2228 meters in this region is the highest peak in Australia. This continent has a coast on all four sides. The coastal region is generally a flat plain. As the central region comprises deserts and plateau areas, the population of this continent is concentrated in the coastal region. The Great Barrier Reef, a reef formed by coral rocks, runs parallel to the northeastern coast of the continent. It is about 2,000 kilometers long. Climate on the whole, the climate of the continent can be described as hot and dry. The area to the north of the Tropic of Capricorn has a tropical climate, whereas to its south it is temperate. There is a great difference in the temperatures during summer and winter. In this region, it is summer in the month of January. When the mean temperature in the north is 35 degrees Celsius, while in the south, it is 20 degrees Celsius. In winter, that is in July, the mean temperature in the north drops down to 25 degrees Celsius, while in the south it reaches 5 degrees Celsius. Note the difference in temperature, that is range of temperature, in the two regions in the course of the year. In the Australian Alps and interior parts of the island Tasmania, the temperature during winter occasionally goes below the freezing point. Fog dominates in this period and snowfall also occurs. The winds coming from Pacific Ocean bring rains to the mountainous region on the eastern coast. It is 1000 millimeters. As the winds go westward crossing the mountains they become dry and hot. As a result, the central part of the continent receives a low rainfall. Moreover, the central part of this continent lies in the hot tropical high pressure belt. Hence, winds blow outward from this region. Consequently, 
this region remains dry. The rainfall in this region is less than 250 millimeters. That is why this has become a region of hot deserts. The north receives rains from the monsoon winds, whereas the south receives rain from the wester lies. As a result, we find three types of climate in Australia. Number one, monsoon climate in the north. Number two, a right climate in the central part and number three Mediterranean climate in the southwest and southeast region natural resources water resources the Murray is the major river in the southeastern part of the continent the Darling is its tributary the basins of these rivers are fertile the water of these rivers is used for drinking agriculture and power generation. Besides these, Flinders, Thompson, Namoy, Cooper Creek are the other rivers. The distinctive artesian wells are seen in the central low-lying plains. The water from these wells is mainly used for animal husbandry. Scarcity of water is the main problem in the hot deserts to the west. Forest resources. The north and eastern coastal regions get heavy rains and therefore we find rainforests in these areas. Australia has a number of species of eucalyptus and the Australian variety of acacia trees in large numbers. As the central region gets low rainfall, it is dominated by thorny shrubs grasses and cactus in the southeastern part of the continent and in Tasmania. Coniferous trees like pine, spruce, red cedar, maple, walnut are found. Animal resources. Millions of years ago the Australian continent got separated from the main continental mass and drifted far away. As a result, we find very different kinds of animals in this continent. The kangaroo having a pouch to carry its young ones is a distinctive animal found only in this continent. Kangaroos feed on shrubs and grasses. The platypus and echidna have a distinctive characteristic. Though they are mammals, they lay eggs. The platypus has a duck-like beak. Dingo, a kind of dog, is found in Australia. Similarly, animals like Pala, Walby, Cuscus, etc. are found in this continent. Emu, a large bird, is Australia's national bird. See color figure 2. In the downs grasslands of the temperate region in the eastern part of the continent, animal husbandry is carried on on a large scale. In this, mainly wool is produced through sheep rearing. Soil Resources The Murray-Darling Basin has a fertile soil. However, in the rest of the continent, fertile soils are found in very limited areas. The central part of Australia is a hot desert where sandy soils are found. Brown soils are found in the southern areas of Mediterranean climate, whereas in the northern regions of monsoon type climate, red colored soils are found. Mineral Resources This continent is storehouse of minerals. Gold mines are located in the southern parts of Australia at Kulgadi and Kalgurli. Iron ore, coal, Gold and silver are extracted from the mining areas of Broken Hills. In the western parts of the continent, iron ore is found on a large scale in the basins of rivers like Fortescue and Ashburton. There are coal mines on the east coast. Opal, a precious stone, is found in Australia. Environmental Issues the western part of the Australia 
gets low rainfall. Therefore, most of the rivers in this part are seasonal. This has created the problem of scarcity of water. As a result, people in this region have to face famine conditions. The famous Great Barrier Reef along the northeastern coast of Australia is a tourist attraction. However, due to global warming, the temperature of seawater is increasing and this has posed a threat to this reef. The central portion of the continent is a hot desert. The sand from these deserts is blown by wind to the peripheral regions and deposited there. As a result, the areas of hot deserts are increasing. Due to overgrazing and deforestation, the areas of eastern mountains and the Murray-Darling basins are facing a severe problem of soil erosion.